You might not think about your attic when it comes to making your home cleaner, healthier, and more comfortable, but paying attention to your attic can do all this and help save money on your energy bill. There are lots of options to help keep winter heat from escaping up into the attic and summer heat from coming down. Let's examine the pros and cons, starting with insulation. Many houses don't have enough insulation in the attic floor, and it's often worthwhile to add more. However, there's more to it than you'd think. For many years, um, homeowners and contractors alike will just blow more insulation or, or lay out new rolls of, of insulation in the attic. And that, we have found, doesn't really solve the issues. When you actually get inside the attic and start looking around, you'll find insulation that was once pink or white, now brown. And you'll find it right over a wire hole or some other bypass. What we have since discovered that air leakage minimizes the effectiveness of insulation, in some cases renders the insulation useless. A lot of people think that windows and doors are a major leakage sites, but in fact they're not. Typically window and door leakage is only 20% of the total leakage. The attic floor is usually the leakiest surface in the home. Insulation laid over leaks doesn't stop the airflow, it just filters it. When you're insulating an attic, it's important to not just put in insulation, but also block airflow paths. We often call this house doctoring, where you look at all the paths of heat and air and seal them. A third to a half of the heat loss in an older home is due to air paths. So uh, the strategy before any additional insulation is applied is to seal the attic floor. That's the vent stacks, that's the wires, that's on top of the top plates with foam and or caulk. And when a contractor effectively you know, covers and seals up these holes and then adds the insulation, now we have uh, an attic that is going to keep the, the cool and or warm air inside the house and not allow that air to move up into the attic. Most of the leaks in the attic floor are in the tops of the walls, and you can't see them from down below. However, an infrared camera scan makes the leaks visible, kind of like having an x-ray done on your house. It also uncovers areas of missing or poorly performing insulation. While most attic floor air leaks are hidden, some come right through the drywall ceiling to the living space below. An infiltrometer blower door test makes it easy to pinpoint them. Recessed can lights are usually very leaky, and so are scuttle hatches and pull-down stairs. These leaks can be easily repaired using new specialty sealing products. Sealing the attic floor air leaks saves energy, but it also keeps dirty attic air from getting into your home. Insulation fibers are a common component of the dust on furniture, and some particles from attics cause allergy suffering. Mold spores and outdoor pollen are commonly found in attics. Rodents such as mice and squirrels infest many attics and their droppings are highly allergenic. Research studies have found that mouse allergen is widespread in U.S. homes and that there's a significant association between high levels of mouse allergens and allergy and asthma suffering. Many homeowners now have all the old contaminated insulation sucked out. This allows for a thorough sealing of air leaks before new insulation is installed. Once the attic floor leaks have been sealed, it's important to make sure the attic ventilation is clear and won't be blocked by new insulation. Then new insulation can be blown in. Your comfort consultant can guide you on the recommended levels for your climate zone. Any vertical walls between your living space and the attic will also benefit from adding insulation. Knee walls are notoriously badly insulated. The bat insulation is often loosely installed or even falling out. Adding foam board or duct wrap to the backside often makes a big difference to the comfort of the neighboring bedrooms. A final benefit of a comprehensive attic retrofit is that it reduces or eliminates attic moisture problems, such as condensation, mold growth, or eye stams. Ask your Comfort Institute member contractor for more information on having your attic retrofitted. It'll make your home more comfortable, cleaner, healthier, and even quieter. And best of all, the work pays for itself through lower monthly heating and cooling bills.